South Dakota has often been referred to as a land of infinite variety. That variety is reflected in everything from our weather to our scenery, our economy to our state symbols, and our history to our traditions. However, this variety is reflected in more than our land or heritage. It's in our people. Hello, I'm Major General Tim Reich, Adjutant General of the South Dakota National Guard. I'd like to take this opportunity to speak about a topic that is vitally important to the success of the National Guard today, diversity. This year, the South Dakota National Guard is celebrating its 150th anniversary of the first muster of the Dakota Territory Militia in 1862. In those days, the militia was formed to help protect the early frontier settlers from Native American attacks. Today, the South Dakota National Guard proudly stands shoulder to shoulder with many Native American brethren in our ranks, supporting our state and defending our nation. Just as in your organization, diversity is what makes us great. Whether it is men or women, African Americans or Native Americans, Catholic, Protestants, Jews or Buddhists, rich or poor, young or old, liberal or conservative, our diversity is our strength. I want to take a moment to talk about a few things that we have done in recent years to help foster diversity in our state. First of all, I'm proud to say that the South Dakota Air National Guard has been announced as a recipient of the 2011 National Guard Bureau Excellence in Diversity Award. This award is given to just one Air National Guard wing each year by the National Guard Bureau to recognize a unit's outstanding promotion of programs that support a diverse workforce. As the National Guard experiences demographic shifts, evolving military requirements, and increasing budgetary constraints, diversity has become a growing challenge. Understanding and integrating diversity into our mission through leadership training and workshops, the South Dakota Air National Guard has offered their members the tools necessary to stay a vital and diverse workforce. In May 2011, we welcomed our first UH-72 Lakota helicopter here in our state. Working hand in hand with the Lakota Nation, we held a blessing and unveiling ceremony at Crazy Horse Memorial in the Black Hills. The event brought the National Guard and the Lakota Nation together to help promote unity. Since that day, the South Dakota National Guard has participated in several subsequent ceremonies with Native American tribes located throughout our state. This year we hosted our 28th annual Golden Coyote training exercise and it was one of our most diverse events in recent memories. Nearly 2,000 service members representing 41 units, 17 states, and six foreign nations participated in this year's exercise. And we hosted members of not only the National Guard, but the Army and Navy Reserve. Every year, the success of Golden Coyote is reflected in the geographical, cultural, and individual diversity of the people who support it. The vast knowledge, experience, and background that these servicemen and women bring to the exercise ensures mission accomplishment. One important mission conducted during Golden Coyote is the timber haul operation, where transportation and engineer units help deliver humanitarian aid in the form of timber to Native American reservations, where it is used for firewood and ceremonial purposes. This year's Golden Coyote was one of our most diverse to date, with participation from the United Kingdom, Denmark, Canada, Suriname, Australia, and New Zealand. This provided National Guard and Reserve units, as well as our foreign participants, a unique opportunity to train together and learn from one another. We have also been very fortunate to have a great state partnership program relationship with the South American country of Suriname. For the past six years, we have been able to conduct an average of 12 to 14 subject matter expert exchanges annually. This partnership not only allows us to exchange ideas on military issues, but to gain a better understanding of each other's culture and heritage. 
These are just a few examples of how the South Dakota National Guard is working toward increasing diversity in our organization. Diversity is absolutely essential to the National Guard's success. It has shaped and defined America since its earliest days, and it makes our organization the best that it can be. The National Guard has been, and always will be, a fundamental part of the people and the communities, state and nation that we support. We must continue to reflect the diversity of this great nation in our ranks. Thank you.